cousin died when we were both 17. There was a reception at his house just after the funeral. I went into his room and stole all the money that was there, took some other valuables that his parents wouldn't realize were gone. No one knows that I did it, they just assumed he didn't have any money in his room, only loose change. I don't regret it, but I will never admit I did it. Also my cum box. Elaborate on this cum box, please. Well, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a shoe box, or at least once was, and whenever I masturbate I come into it. I've had it for two or three years now I think, so it has a fair amount of cum. It smells atrocious, and I tried to burn it once. When I lit it on fire, it was too damp due to the cum that it simply sizzled and didn't manage to actually light up. Turns out burning cum smells awful, so I had to spray it with a deodorant body spray just to get the old smell of burnt cum away. It also has some drenched paper stuck to it. That's pretty much it. Because people were asking, my greatest shame. Edit 2. A lot of people are asking me, why? Well, I'm apparently a rather disturbed individual. But, it just kind of happened, bought new shoes and needed some place to come, used the box. It just escalated from there, kept using it each time, telling myself I would throw it out soon. Never did. Two or three years later, I still have it. It was planned or anything, it just happened. Edit 3. Fuck, this really exploded. Approximately 20,000 plus views of my cum box. Did not expect this. Edit 4. I often get PMED about updates or current status of the box, generally a few a week. So I might as well update this post, if anyone even gets linked here anymore. Current status, I have created life. Mold has begun to grow in the box and has taken over a fair amount. Smells a bit worse, mainly due to a damper apartment so it does not dry as fast, hence the reason why the mold has begun. New picture. I will never be rid of my need for it. I hate and love the box. Just as I hate and love myself.